Today was the finals of the Apex Mosaic Enterprise Challenge, which aims to give young people a taste of the business world. We only saw 30 today, but 500 of them from a wide range of schools have been working on this over the last year. And it's very exciting to know that the future of Business Britain is assured. And we have people like this coming through year after year who are going to make our country great. Each of our teams today, in talking to you students, you must know that you are winners. Just to be in this room, just to have earned that place here, you are our economy's future. You are real stars. Our idea is a school subscription-based app designed to help students, teachers and parents to obliterate the problem of communication and organisation. Over the next three minutes, prepare to be mind-blown at what we have to offer. We'll rent allotments to members of the public and even more importantly, we'll provide free of charge, allotments to our local feeder primary schools to educate them in the area of horticulture. We propose to initiate a recycling idea from our school. Recycling? That's been kicked around forever and a day. The whole country's bored of it. Yes, it has, but not like this. So give us your trash, we'll turn it to cash. Be there in the dash for the trash for cash. Trash for cash! What we need is to support young people to develop their life skills and confidence and the way that they think innovatively about their careers and that is what this competition provided. I've never seen such confidence and creativity and just pure passion for, um, for doing something business-like. So yeah, I was inspired today. When I was growing up I was very lucky to have parents who really sort of supported me and inspired me and encouraged me to do what I was naturally able to do. I don't think everyone is that lucky and I don't think everyone has that informal support network and it's great that there are organisations such as Mosaic who are able to sort of get people in the right places to support this young talent to come through and really shine. How much of it is hard it's, it's work hard behind work. the scenes that people don't actually see? I think the earliest I've gone to bed this week is about four in the morning. Like it's, it's, it's hard work but it's so worth it because I'm doing something that I genuinely enjoy. I cannot say strongly enough how amazed I am at the talent today. Um, I think you guys are amazing. I think I should be sleeping with one eye open because I've got a generation of, of talent coming up right behind me. I have seen university students who wouldn't hold a candle to what you've done today. So full marks, everybody. And now, the winners. I hope you're all going to hand over your rubbish because the winners are seeing... <laughs> I thought the presentations today were really good. The winning team had really taken on board that they were making a presentation that they had to convince people and their passion for their idea came across. I mean, they'd have a career on the stage if they decided not to go into business. I think it's safe to say we've had the best finals we've ever had. Six amazing pitches, every one of which was flawless. Seeing the look on those young boys' face when they won was just a picture or something that none of us will ever forget. And they've now had, I think, a very, very special afternoon. I don't think they can quite believe what they've seen. It's just been exhilarating, really. We've been to so many places. We've been to a shard. Yeah, we went to it was, it's, it's got 72 levels. Yeah, and, and we went the to the top one. one. The view really is scary. Yeah, the, the view is incredible, except when you look down. It like, it's, <laughs> look how it's all... It's a, you can see London as a really brilliant city, but then you just look down and you just think, I'll take a step back. We've been to Clarence House. It was really fun and it, and it was an experience that I'm never going to forget. Yeah, we're so going for dinner. Yeah, it's a very posh restaurant. Yeah, it's like a very posh restaurant. It hasn't sunk in that we've actually won. All of it has just been such a good experience and even if we didn't win, I would still take back everything we've done as a good experience. But we have, so it's just even better. It's been amazing. 101 out of 100.